movieweb.com. Hey, how old is this place? You got me. We're fine. That's why they built the fence there. Can you just talk about like the how you guys your first reaction to finding out you're in a Final Destination movie? I was a badass, man. Like <laughs> once I started finding out what the plans were for this, yeah, uh, this is the first movie ever to use this technology. This 3D technology is like undescribable, so it's kind of hard to actually sit here and talk about it. But most films that you're used to is like you have a, a biplanar experience, and then you know certain elements come out of the come out of the theater to you or out of the screen to you. But this one, everything is coming out. There's not a one thing that doesn't have a depth of field to it. And so as an audience member, you're looking at something and it's like you're looking into a room and you're just part of that room. And that's what's that was beyond cool to me. I remember that first day we were sitting at the at the test screening and I was just like, this is what we get to do? Like no way. The day I actually found out that I booked it when my agent called me, I was in my car and I got into a major car accident. Yeah. And um, I was like st stuck in my car and they had to get like jaws of life and pull me out and I was like so I guess should I do this movie or should <laughs> I not? <laughs> like, is this part of my premonition? Should I have died? Um, so it was a it was a really weird experience. Wow. But um, I mean, you know, it, it's such a fun franchise to be a part of, and I didn't know a whole lot about it in the beginning. But you know, being a part of something that's been around forever, and, and it's so much fun, and you know, the whole adrenaline rush you get from just the everyday activities and, and how you can die from doing them. Uh, immediately, I wanted to a really cool gnarly death. Oops. And when everything was said and done, I was like, all right, I got it. Look out! I mean, the 3D really, I'm just the first to, to do it in 3D, and it really added a lot to the to the movie. So was it more challenging to kind of like on the set, like with the, with the kind of special rigs they had to do? Yeah, I, we, they worked around it, and it, the crew was just phenomenal because they sorted this stuff out in like, you know, a matter of weeks. Yeah. You know, before we even got there, they were kind of you know, it was the first time to ever use it. So, um, we didn't really have any setbacks with it. But I think for us, it was blocking issues. Mm -hmm. it was um, yeah. it was kind of like theater in a way because uh, there wasn't a lot of cuts, and it, we do a lot more three shots as opposed to you know to, to create the depth of the depth of field because we had to play with that. And so and to make the audience feel like they were actually in the mall or sitting in the stands yeah. right next to you instead of like, you know, watching people at a racetrack. And you know, even the scenes that weren't so like filled with action and like stuff flying at you, it was still cool to like be a part of like a room and, and you felt yeah. like you were in there with with us instead of like, oh cool, they're sitting inside a house. Yeah, it creates this great <laughs> environment, you know, yeah. where it's like every little piece is you know, in the fifteenth row, or you know, it's like it's that's it's hard to explain. You have to go see it. It seems like the they have a better sense of humor about the whole <laughs> the whole thing this time around. Well, I think for sure the audience knows the movie. They they know the style of it. Now it's just at a point of just nailing the entertainment. Yeah. Like they're getting the most entertainment value out of all four right now. It's bigger. It's louder. Mm -hmm. It's faster. It's in 3D for Pete's sake. <laughs> yeah. What else do you want? Yeah, we have nothing more to give. We did it all. No, I think this movie takes the whole franchise to that next level. Definitely because of the 3D, but I think it's really on point the entire time. It has, it's equally balanced with action, the horror aspect of it, the humor. I think it's like definitely on point. I think that there's a lot more action in this one. Yeah. You know, I think that in, in the other ones, there was always one big stunt and a bunch of other little stuff. In this one, there's a lot of big stuff and you never stop like, like, yeah. oh my God, wait. Okay, no, wait. You know, yeah, you never stop We skipped a lot of exposition. We, we trimmed it down. Mm -hmm. And so it, it just gets to what people want to see. They want to see people getting chewed up and, and killed. And some of them are funny. We get some to that. of them are yeah. gross. There's an expected awesome ride all around. I mean, it's like being on a roller coaster, you yeah. know? It's just fun from the second it starts to the second it ends. Your franchise is safe. It's Don't safe. worry. It's in great hands. Hey, you're going to see it in 3D now. You better right. see it in 3D now, is what we mean to say. Yeah. Is it safe to sit here? Look out! Yeah. 
sure you don't want to come to the movie? It's in 3D. 